Hello, Carl. Hello, Doris. Hola, Karen. Hola, mister, ¿cómo está? Estoy bien, gracias. ¿Cómo estás? Qué bueno, estoy bien, gracias. Qué bueno. Hola, Kiabe. How you doing? I'm all right, how are you? Pretty good. All right. Hello, Brian. Hey, Mr. Wise. Hey. Hola, Hilder. Good morning, Amaya. Good morning, Amy. Morning, Elijah. If attacked by a mob of clowns, go for the juggler. The man who invented Velcro has died. R.I.P. Rip. Despite the high cost of living, it remains popular. A dung beetle walks into a bar and asks, is this stool taken? I can tell when people are being judgmental just by looking at them. Morning, Misa. The rotation of Earth really makes my day. Well, to be frank with you, I'd have to change my name. My friend was explaining electricity to me, but I was like, what? What if there were no hypothetical questions? Are people born with photographic memories or does it take time to develop?
Ne öyle ne aslında? All right. We were doing distance. Okay. Today we're going to find perimeter of a rectangle. Okay. And we're going to be given four points. Okay. This is going to be very easy. Okay, so what we're gonna do, what I want you to do with these problems is I want you to plot all four points. For example, where's three, three? Well, three, three, whoops. Right. One, two, three, one, two, three, right there, plot that point. Okay. Then three, eight. If this is three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and right there. Okay. And then eight, three is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three is right there. And then eight, eight is there. So here is your rectangle. So what are the lengths of each side? Well, here's one, two, three, four, five. From here, here's one, two, three, four, five, right? So this is five. And of course, if this guy here is five, then this guy here is also five. And then if this is five, then this is five. So five plus five plus five plus five is 20. Easy, right? Easy. Can I have a thumbs up if you understand what I just did there, please? Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Elijah, Hilder, Misa, thank you. Carl Daniels, thank you. Amaya, thank you. All right, Karen, Devon, thank you. Denelson, thank you. Karen, very good. All right, all right. Good, good, good. Okay. Same thing. Negative 11, 5. Negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven is out here. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So there's eleven five. Negative eleven five, I mean. Okay. Negative 11, two. Negative 11, two is gonna be right here. Where is negative three, five? Negative one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five is here. Negative three, two is here. What are the lengths? of each of these sides. 
Okay, right here is going to be one, two, three. Right, so this is three. And if this guy's three, then this guy also has to be three. Okay, what's this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight. And so this is eight. So what's eight plus eight plus three plus three? Eight plus eight is 16. Three plus three is six. 16 plus six is 22. Okay. Okay, one more time. Negative four, two. Negative one, two, three, four, one, two is right there. Negative four, 11 is up here. Three, two, one, two, three, one, two is here. Three, 11 is up here. Here's my rectangle, all right. And now, what's the distance from here to here, all right? The easiest way to do this really is instead of counting, why don't I just take 11, right? This here is 11. And this here is two, right? I'm gonna do 11 minus two, which is nine. So this is nine. Okay. Then, okay, here I've got three, negative four. I'm gonna do three, minus negative four. That's the same as three plus four, which is seven. Okay, if that's seven, this is seven. Okay, so what's nine plus nine plus seven plus seven? Nine plus nine is 18. Seven plus seven is 14. 18 and 14 is 32. Easy. Okay. In fact, do I even need to graph it? Can you do this without graphing it? Meaning, Back here for a second. Okay. So isn't this, right? Isn't this guy right here eight and this guy is three, right? Couldn't I just do Couldn't I just do this 8 minus this 3? Right? I'm going to do that 8 minus that 3. And then I'm also going to do uh this 8 minus this 3, right? I'm going to do that. Watch what I'm saying. What am I saying? I'm gonna show you what I'm saying. I'm gonna take this negative nine and this negative three. What's the difference between negative nine and negative three? Isn't that this difference gonna be a difference of six, right? 
So then I'm gonna take this negative seven and negative one. What's the difference there? Isn't this difference six, right? So if one length is six, the opposite length is also six. So I need six plus six for those two sets. And then I'd need six plus six for the other two sets of sides. So four sixes, the answer is 24, right? Can I have a thumbs up, please, if you understand what I'm saying? Thank you, Devon. Thank you, Carl Daniels, Misa, thank you, Elijah, thank you. That's it. Thank you, Amaya. Thank you, Carl Berry. All right, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna do the same thing. And do the same thing here. I'm gonna take negative one and positive 11. The difference between negative one and positive 11, the difference here is 12, right? Does that make sense? Please tell me if that does not make sense. The other two numbers I need to do are negative two and negative five. The difference between those two is three. So I need three and three, and I need 12 and 12. 12 plus 12 is 24. Three plus three is six. 24 plus six is 30. Hey, ho, hey, ho, hey, ho. It's your birthday, it's your birthday. Negative six, six, negative six, negative six, 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 and six, negative six. What? I'm going to tell me, what's the difference between, whoops. What's the difference between negative six and positive six? Isn't that a difference of 12? What's the difference between Negative six and positive six. Isn't that also a difference of 12? So here, both so two sides are 12, and here, two opposite sides are 12. 12 plus 12 is 24. 24 plus 24 is 48. Easy, man. Once again, I'm gonna take the difference of two and 11. What's the difference of two and 11? 11 minus two is nine. All right, then I'm gonna take the difference of negative four and positive three. Isn't that positive seven? So nine plus nine is 18. Seven plus seven is 14. 18 plus 14 is 32. Easy, man. How about this? What's the difference between negative 10 and negative three? And then what's the difference between five and zero? Negative 10 and negative three, the difference is seven. Five and zero, the difference is five. So seven plus seven is 14, five plus five is 10, 14 plus 10 is 24, easy. Good job, Devon. 
Hold on one moment, please. Okay. Next. What's the difference between zero and three? Difference is three. What's the difference between, oh, this was a mistake here. Sorry, this was supposed to be seven. Sorry about that. So what's the difference? between negative two and seven. Negative two and positive seven, the difference is nine, right? So three plus three is six, nine plus nine is 18. 18 and six is 24. What's the difference between negative nine and zero? The difference is nine. What's the difference between negative six, negative six and zero? The difference between negative six and zero is six. So nine plus nine is 18, six plus six is 12. 18 plus 12 is 30. Easy, easy like Sunday morning. Over here, what's the difference between negative three and positive nine? That difference is gonna be 12. What's the difference between Negative four and positive two, that difference will be six. So 12 plus 12 is 24, six plus six is 12. 24 plus 12 is 36, All right? What's the difference between negative 10 and positive 10. Difference between negative 10 and positive 10 is 20. What's the difference between negative eight and positive eight? Difference is positive 16. 20 plus 20 is 40. 16 plus 16 is 32. 40 plus 32 is 72. Easy. Okay. If you want, you can plot the points on your graph. And I gave you, I emailed you graph paper yesterday. So if you want to use graph paper, you can open up the graph paper on your computer. So in the chat, I just posted today's form. You only got 12 problems, okay? So go ahead, and then if you have questions, please ask. Go. Thank you. 
Uh, could you please send the link to me again? What you? Could you please send the link to me again? Yeah. By the way, for those of you who have been outsmarting me, I just realized on Tuesday that because I allow you to redo the forms, yeah, hold on, Heather. Because I allow you to redo the forms, all right, I want you to see what you got wrong. Well, what the forms do, forms does is it gives you the answer. I of course never realized that and you probably knew that. So all you had to do was click submit, get a zero and then all the answers show up, right? Well, I stopped that from happening. So from now on, you won't know what you got until I post it in your grade book. But if you want to redo it, you can redo it. All right. So you want an example, all right? So like, here's a number. Number one. Now, what you could do is you can just plot the points. I, I emailed you graph paper if you want to use graph paper. All right. But, all right, what you can do is you're going to say 2, 8, and 9, 8. What's the distance between those two? What's the distance between 2 and 9? Isn't that 7? Right? Nine minus two is seven, right? So what's seven plus seven? Seven plus seven is 14. So two sides are seven. Okay. So you say uh, two sevens make 14. And then you have threes and eights, right? What's the difference between eight and three? Well, that diff distance is five. All right, so what's five plus five? 10. So you take the 14, you take the 10, and you put in 24. So your answer would be 24. Okay. Yeah, uh, okay. Sorry about the graph paper, it doesn't work that well. You might have to, uh, all right, let me, let me do this. Let me do this, I got an idea. Um, hold 
Hold on. I'm going to get a better example. All right, here, <clears throat> here's what I'm getting at. Where is the point two eight? Here's two, and here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so two eight. is there. Now the difference would be three, wouldn't it, Hilda? From negative one to negative four, right? <clears throat> like if negative one is here and negative four is here, right? Here's negative one, here's negative four. Isn't this a distance of three? One, two, three, right? All right, so here's what I'm getting at. So here's two, eight, and it, where's nine, eight? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's nine. Nine is here, so here's nine, eight, All right? Here's nine, eight. Two eight, right? And then here's two three, and here's nine three. Nine three. Two three. All right. What's the perimeter? All right. Does it make sense that this is five? Why is that five? One, two, three, four, five, right? That distance right there is five. And if this guy is five, this guy is five, right? So here's what I'm saying. I'm saying you have eight and three. Well, I can just look at this eight and this three, the, the Y values, the two different Y values. It doesn't matter if I look at this eight and this three or this eight and this three, all right? The two numbers for the Y axis, right? This is the Y axis here. The two numbers are eight and three. So what's eight minus three? Eight minus three is five, right? Five plus five is 10. Okay. Now I'm gonna look at here. Here's nine and here's two, right? Here's two and here's nine, right? Or if I use two and nine, the X values are two and nine. So what's nine minus two? Isn't that seven, right? So if this is seven, then this is seven. Seven plus seven is 14. I add those together and I get 24, right? So what I'm saying is I don't even have to plot it. I don't even have to graph it. I can just say, okay, well, wait a minute. 
I can say here, here's two and here's nine. What's nine minus two? Seven. And then I can say there's eight and three. What's eight minus three? Five. Add all the sides together. Devon, does that make sense? Okay. Go get them. No, are you on the last one, Hilder?
here. <clears throat> okay. Actually, you have negative 10 and positive 10. That's a difference of 20, right? And over here, you have negative 10 and positive 10. That's a difference of 20. Right? Yes. Yes, Hilder. Devon, have a good weekend. Say no to drugs. You're good to go. Helder, have a good weekend. Say no drugs.
I'm done, Mr. Weiss. Joel, have a good weekend. Stay out of drugs. Okay, am I hang on? Mesa, have a good weekend. Say no to drugs. Carl Daniels, have a good weekend. Say no to drugs. And Nelson, have a good weekend. Say no drugs.
All right, gang, I'm going to end today's meeting. <clears throat> Make sure you get your work done. Have a good weekend. Say no to drugs.